Now to the senator who says he did everything short of leaking classified information to shine a light on these surveillance programs. Here's Mark Udall on the Senate floor more than two years ago. The intelligence community can target individuals who have no connection to terrorist organizations. They can collect business records on law-abiding Americans who have no connection to terrorism. And Senator Udall joins us from Colorado this morning. Thank you for joining us, Senator. Is everything we're learning this week consistent with what you knew then? It is, George, and as uh, you pointed out, I tried to draw attention to what was happening uh, over two years ago. I'm not uh, happy that we've had leaks and these leaks are concerning, but I think it's an opportunity now to have a discussion about the limits of surveillance, how we create transparency, and above all, how we protect Americans' privacy. Well, what's your main concern here? Because the president has come out and said that the programs are approved by Congress, overseen by the court, and carefully constrained. Here he was on Friday. They're very focused. Uh, and in the abstract, you can complain about Big Brother and how this is uh, uh, a potential program run amok. But when you actually look at the details, then I think we've struck the right balance. You don't believe the right balance has been struck? I, I don't. Uh, my, my main concern is Americans don't know the extent to which they're being surveilled, George. We hear this term metadata, which has to do with when you make calls, where you make calls to who you're talking to, uh, I think that's private information. I think if the government's gathering that, the American people ought to know it. We ought to have a discussion about it. And frankly, I think we ought to reopen the Patriot Act and put some limits on the amount of data that the uh, National Security Administration is collecting. What kind of limits exactly? Because as the president pointed out, no one's listening uh, to phone calls here, and they're not allowed to, to continue the targeting of any individual unless they have probable cause, unless they've developed some information that would give them the reason to continue a tracking. Yeah, m my concern is, look, look you know with, through a contract with your phone company that they're going to collect this data, but the phone company can't arrest you, prosecute you, put you in jail. And metadata, although it sounds simple and it sounds innocuous, can lead to a lot of additional information. I just draw the line a little bit differently than the president does. We do need to remember we're in a war uh, against terror, terrorists and, and terrorism remains a real threat. But I also think we have to cue to the Bill of Rights and the Fourth Amendment, which prevents unlawful search and seizures, ought to be uh, important to us. It ought to remain sacred. And there's got to be a balance here. Uh, that's what I'm aiming for. Let's have the debate. Let's be transparent. Let's open this up. I don't think the American public knows the extent or knew the extent to which they were being surveilled and their data was being collected. But, Senator, the president has said that this has been fully debated and authorized by the Congress. It, it, it has been, George, but it has it, it's in a limited way, if I might make that point. And that's why I want to reopen the Patriot Act. I think now that this information is more available, I've certainly had a lot of Coloradans say to me, they're uncomfortable with this. They want to know more. That's my point is let's have a debate here. Let's look at what's really happening. It's what I was trying to draw attention to two years ago. Millions of, of records every day being accumulated makes me uneasy. I think it's a violation of our privacy. Let's take a further look at this. Do you think that the administration has been straight with the Congress in their testimony? You know, I, 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 in, in general, I do. And, and look, this is the law, uh, but the way the law is being interpreted has really concerned me. The law has been interpreted in a secret way. That's what I've been calling for, is let's have full disclosure of how this law is being applied. Uh, this isn't a scandal, uh, but this is deeply concerning uh, to me and a lot of Americans, and frankly, a, a lot of my colleagues in the Senate on both sides of the aisle. And, and do you believe, though, that the program has been effective? We have Chairman Mike Rogers coming up, say, who said that this program has helped stop terrorist attacks. And our own the Brian Ross reported that the subway, the attempted subway plot, in the New York subways in 2009 could have been stopped by this program. George, I'm not convinced. And by the way, there are two programs that are being discussed. There's one, the so-called PRISM program, uh, Article 702 in the law, and it's been very effective. It, it surveils foreigners, uh, uh, grabs content, photographs, emails. Uh, the 215 provisions, which are collecting all the metadata, I'm not convinced that it's uniquely valuable intelligence that we couldn't have generated in other ways. So uh, I know these claims are being made, but that's all the more reason to have a debate, to share this information, and determine whether or not we ought to be collecting millions of records every day of Americans' phone calls. It just, to me, is a violation of our privacy, particularly if it's done in ways that we don't know about. Senator Udall, thanks for your time this morning.
Hey, George, thanks for having me on.